Virgo, hello, <laughs> how are you? This is your November reading, okay, sorry. I just have a little brain block sometimes when I start a video. Um, thanks for subscribing, thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. Um, it's for anyone, if you've got Virgo anywhere in your chart. Um, and um, it's for November, so thank you for subscribing, thanks for giving the video a thumbs up, and um, let's see. Let's see what Spirit is saying for Virgo. It's divinely timed as well. So Virgo. <laughs> A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. This card just came out for the last reading. Um, you know, it's a really amazing energy shift for you. What can I say? You're going to find November very, very fruitful time, Virgo. You're going to notice yourself coming on leaps and bounds on a personal level. So it's sort of the things that you've been working on in terms of your spiritual um, development, your own self-healing, really, really just massively just shifting forwards, um, you know, and it's like you're just getting immediate results. And, and off the back of that, um, there's going to be activity, things are going to be going on, there's going to be more opportunities coming up for you. So it's also going to make your communication better because, you know, all of a sudden you're making these links, um, you know, like in your head, things are starting to make more sense on a personal level, yeah? And so it's easier for you to just authentically communicate. So there's just such a, a really sort of magical shift for Virgo things making a lot more sense for you and feeling a lot more better in yourself um you've got the thorn so this is like a very refreshing energy it's a very sort of like a young energy but in a very refreshing kind of way the thorn um so it's kind of like a rebirth in november for you um it's like a new phase for you because you know you've just you're just making this breakthrough in November and it feels refreshing because you can just kind of be you <laughs> um and do things your way um but it's very natural you know you're not pushing it or forcing it it's just it's just natural because of um your how hard you've been working on your development you know your spirituality and all of that it's just um it, this is nat a natural shift for you now and it's it's a very happy one. So let's go a bit deeper for you. Hmm. Okay, so basically you've got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, you may have had a reunion or reconciliation with somebody um, in October. Um, but also, um, I want to say, like, as you start November, this is... Um, actually you coming back to the self, you know, it's like where you were split, now it's like, boom, you're starting to act as one being, you know, you're not torn in two anymore, confused anymore, no, it's the end of that, like I said, there's a real shift for Virgo, where you just feel really whole and complete, um, and it just makes everything going forwards for you easier, you know, because you're not in that sort of kind of split energy, um, you've got here the Empress card, you know, the Empress is just whole and complete, um, overcome her battles, knows her power, knows her worth. It doesn't matter what gender or sexuality you are. What it's showing is you are able to put to one side the parts of yourself that maybe confuse you or drive you crazy. And you're able to just be aligned to spirit, aligned to source. And as such, you're able to kind of channel through um, infinite potential from spirit into your life, into the physical reality. That's what the Empress does. Um, so what this means is get ready, you know, get ready for November to be a really interesting month because um, you're not doing things from, you know, like how maybe how you were operating, you know, go, going back a bit uh, where, you know, you were confused and a bit torn and, you know, also kind of just working from the mind too much, overthinking things too much. This is, this is a totally different energy in November for um, Virgo. 
and um, it's like you're trusting more in spirit, you know, and um, as such, you're going to find things that kind of come into your life in November and the way things happen, um, it's going to be very like it's meant for you, you know, it's all meant to happen, it's all meant for you. Um, now, the only thing is we have got the devil card cropping up now. Um, th there could be a situation where you feel a bit stuck or trapped, but, you know, it's just an illusion. Just remember through November how far forward you've come in your energy um, and your healing. Um, and just remember, it's just an illusion. You, you don't you're not trapped by any type of situation um and you can uh sort of stop it whenever you want um now okay somebody connected to you is seeing this transformation in november and they are just literally going to be even more interested in you it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a lover um it's almost like they're having some kind of awakening because the ace of cups does typically represent a spiritual awakening but it also does represent new love um, but it's also caring, you know, it's not just sexual. So, you know, it's just, just get ready is what I would say. I just feel Virgo, November's going to be a very special month for you. And you're going to be pulling through something from spirit that you really, you know, it's going to be really nice. But it's all happening naturally. And it's happening because of the work you've done on yourself. So don't allow the mind, the ego to pull you into any negative thoughts, any addictive type of thoughts or trapped thoughts because they are illusionary. Um, this is really a refreshing time in November for Virgo. Um, let's Actually, let's just pick a card to see what your person's thinking. So they're, they're definitely drawn to you even more in um, November. They're saying, I'm going to get help. I know I need to. Um, you know, where you've been healing yourself, where you've been working on yourself, this person is starting to realise they need to be a bit more sensible or they need to tone it down. There's something they know they need to do. Um, and I feel like they're starting to make a few little changes um, that they may not even be telling you about. But they're, they're kind of inspired by you or something like that. Um, so you've got here, uh, this is from my consciousness deck, your spirit guides saying to, to you to ask yourself in November, to whom do these thoughts arise? Okay, so when you have any negative thoughts in November, um, you know, which is the devil card here, any negative thoughts, any fear-based thoughts, any feelings like I'm trapped, I'm stuck, um, thinking the worst, um, feeling addicted to something, just ask yourself to whom do these thoughts arise? Because when you ask that question, it makes it crystal clear that it's just the ego where those thoughts are coming from. And actually, the true self isn't having those thoughts whatsoever. The, tr the true self is just spirit neutral. Um, so, you know, that's what Ramana Maharshi taught to whom do these thoughts arise. And it would just help you. Your spirit guides are trying to get you to distinguish when it's your ego that's um, bothering you. <laughs> and, and also to recognise when you're just in the, tr the true being. And the true being, the true self is the Empress card here. And that's really what November's about for Virgo. You know, you really finding your true self and somebody really getting more and more attracted to you, drawn to you because of this. OK, so it's a very, very good month. So just get ready for it, Virgo. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. And if you want to book in, just contact me. I have got a new affordable reading. It's only £20. You can just contact me if you want to know about that. Um, but you can also do video call readings uh, as well with me. That's fine. Peace.